good afternoon. Uh, let me get my little thought together. Um, oh yeah, first of all, I never showed y'all my biscuit kind of disaster, but I'm going to show them to you. These are my biscuits. They're not hard as rocks, but I guess leaving out that baking soda, it didn't make them fluffy. But I did eat one and a half with butter that melted immediately because they were hot and then I put honey on them. But this is what I'm going to do and it will make them delicious. Yeah. Country gravy. I'll split those puppies in half and put that gravy on there. I'm going to have that for supper tonight. And they'll be good. And then I'll wrap them up. And then I'll use the rest of the gravy on them. Tomorrow, probably. I don't want them to go to waste. Do y'all believe, really, that the... I think it was a half a teaspoon. It could have been a teaspoon of baking soda. Y'all let me know. You ladies that are the, you know, biscuit queens, let me know. But I am going to eat those puppies. Okay. Now. Oh, hold on. Oops. Dropped a book. Y'all remember my friend sent these to me? They're decals. And I was going to put them on Max. And then I thought, you know, I have so many things going on in that kitchen. Maybe it wouldn't look right. But I'm still considering it because I have a lot of pink in there, y'all. Anyway, there's quite... Let me see. One, two. It looks like there's three big sheets. So there's plenty. Now, I believe it was Linda Butler that told me to decorate it. Now, I don't know exactly. Sometimes Linda loses me because she has so many things to say that, I, you know, it's that's hard for me. But anyway, Linda, you said to decorate it. And I think we were talking about when I lost my tripod. I have been keeping it big ever since then, so I don't lose it. But y'all that said, oh, you know, I bet you left it out in the yard, it's on the patio. Trust me, I looked everywhere. I even looked under my bed, and it was right there, and I didn't see it. But, now, I'm gonna tell you, the only part of my tripod that I can decorate are these three right here and the one I've got my hand on. Because the rest of them, like when you, I hope I don't hurt. Well, there's nothing out there to hurt. But see, you open the little thingy and then it, it goes up inside there. So you can't put, you know, any decorations right there. The only part is these three things, these three pieces. Because this neck right here, it goes up and down. So I, I can't decorate that either. So 
will decorate those three pieces, but I have something else that I'm going to decorate, and I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I, you know there's so much I want to do, and I forget, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is my favorite broom in the world. And when Leo and Maria come back from Mexico, I'm expecting that I might have another one. But, um, you know, this, this wood handle, I mean, it's pretty. It is. It's wood. It's pretty. It's light colored wood. I like that. But I think it'll be beautiful with some stickers on it. Now, I had to take it out to the shed and find a piece of um, sandpaper because it was kind of rough, you know, and I wanted it to be smooth and I wanted all the, you know, stuff to be, so I wiped it with a damp rag. And um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this sitting in this chair but every time I try to get up, Miss Hazel, she doesn't like it. So, and we can do this so random, y'all. I think I'm going to start with smaller ones. Now, I put one of these on uh, Maxine when I first got them. And I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that I like to not got it off. I mean, this stuff is for life. And I think if I'd have pressed on that on Maxine, I wouldn't have gotten it off. So I would have been forced to use them. Now let me see if this is going to show up at all. Can y'all see that? Let me see if if there's some that are darker. I didn't realize that um, I didn't realize that they were, you know, that they were so transparent. Okay, I have another one. I have a bigger one, and I'll put that. I don't want to put them up too close to where my hands always are. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm going to do it because I like it. I don't know if in this light you can see or not, but they wrap like almost all the way around. And I think it's pretty. But I thought when I had the little thought that I was going to decorate that, I don't know why I didn't realize they were translucent. I thought they were going to have the white part on them. Now, see, on Maxine, that would be beautiful because she's white. So, let's see how this is going to do. I'm going to use a little tiny one here. How this is going to do on my... Um, I know, Ann, you thought I was never going to use these, didn't you? It takes me a while sometimes. Okay, so we got to... I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put this on... Oh, yeah. No, that's not going to work, y'all. Look, you can't even see it. Aww. Well, I'll have to do something else. It's not like I don't have a bunch of stuff to do projects with, okay? But I'm going to finish this sheet, I think. I want to see if the sheets are different, though. Because mostly, I would use the big ones on Maxine. I think I'm going to do it. I'm starting to get excited about it. Okay. Now, see, this one 
had a bunch of smaller ones on it. And this one has a couple of good size ones. Let me see this one down here. And this one kind of has a mix right there. Don't those will look beautiful on Maxine? I'll do a little. Uh, hello. Oh, don't do that. Um. Anyway, um, I'll do a little video on uh, decorating Maxine because I know y'all are not going to be able to do without seeing that. It is going to be really pretty though. Um. What else was I going to talk to y'all about? Oh, you are sitting, my tablet is sitting on top of my little table, on top of my laptop so I won't scratch it. All I could fit in my cooler, because I buy the big rolls of toilet paper, oh, well I used to when I could, and um, only two will fit in my cooler. So I may have to kind of smoosh a couple of them. Now, herein lies the problem, okay? What I imagine is going to happen is that, um, yeah, it's really clouding up out there, y'all. Can you, y'all see that? <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, so, um, what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna get low on toilet paper. I think I have one package left and a couple extra rolls. So if I hide them in here from people who are so desperate that they're going to start breaking into houses for toilet paper. Now, y'all think I'm kidding, but I mean, when times are like they are right now, people get desperate. It's like around Christmas time is the worst time for home burglaries, uh, breaking into cars and taking things. Um, it's, it's a bad time. Because, and shoplifting. Christmas, people get desperate. They don't have any money. They steal stuff, your Amazon stuff, right off the porch. Thank goodness I've got my, you know, cameras everywhere. But people do desperate things in desperate times. Now, I don't really think anybody would break into somebody's house for toilet paper. I'm just kidding about that. But I'm a little worried about what might happen if this goes on for, you know, a longer time. But... This is what will happen. I'll get down to a short supply. Now, I do have tons of tissues. <laughs> Thank you, Ann. I appreciate that so much. But I am going to forget where I stashed some of my stash. Now, y'all know because I lost my tripod right in front of my face. I'm going to forget that I have toilet paper in my igloo. So I might have to leave myself a little note on the inside mirror or something in my medicine cabinet. Deborah, don't be stupid. You've got a couple more rolls of toilet paper in the cooler. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. I, I don't know how many videos I've made today. And why is my voice like this? 
I sound like a frog. I don't have a cold. I don't have the virus. I don't have anything except allergies. But uh, I don't know if it's all this wet weather that has not allowed my allergies to dry up. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm so glad. Y'all, we really, really, I know we're, play, we're praying for everything, but we really have to keep our medical workers in our prayers. Talk about brave people, ambulance drivers, custodians in the hospitals, everybody. They are so brave. And I tell you what, I hope I don't have to go see any of them, but I so appreciate them. And sweetie, I know you have a daughter and I hope she's doing good. And I, I just can't imagine not being able to be with her. I can't imagine if one of my boys got sick and for some reason I couldn't be with them. I, I would be losing my little brain cell for sure. But I love you guys and I, I, I'm, I just pray for you that I pray for your health and your safety and for your families and um, you have got to do something fun every day. It's more important now than ever. So, <laughs> the last time that, that I noticed, I had over 2,200 videos. Y'all, before this is over, it's probably going to be 3,000. And I feel sorry for you having to watch all of them. But y'all don't worry about me. I'm doing good. And Miss Hazel, she's down here in her little nest. So I'm going to have to turn y'all off and um, play solitaire while she gets her nap out. She was outside for a long time today while I was doing that stuff in the front. But um, thanks for understanding, too, about... Uh, the hearts and the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. You know, I love just talking, 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 talking. I know y'all, I'm so shy. But um, I don't know what it is I, that, I mean, there's so many things I think of that, oh, I need to make a video about that. In fact, I see one right over there on my couch. But I'll make that later. And um, take care. And I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Bye now.